I don't hold back in life, you brutal, but I don't, I don't care, I don't hold back. Saves a lot of time, you know? I go to a restaurant, would you like a table? No, I've come here to watch people eat. <laughs> now forget the table, I'll do it on the floor. <laughs> I'm in a supermarket. You in the queue, mate? No, I'm just standing behind 28 people with a basket full of food. <laughs> Maybe I didn't even big enough gap between his ass and my groin. <laughs> I'm in the queue now, mate, you get it? Got to the front of the till. Would you like a bag? <laughs> I've got 45 pound worth of shopping here. <laughs> no, forget the bag. I'll leave this shit right now. <laughs> Get me some cutlery. We're gonna be here for a long time. <laughs> Let's pour that milk into my pockets <laughs> and I'll carry that pineapple on my head. <laughs> oh, it's 5p a bag? We'll just make plain bags then. <laughs> Don't put names and shit on bags. You can't look gangster with a little bag, can you? <laughs> Makes a sense to be back look like a Gucci bag. <laughs> I've got a little bag, bruv. You know the worst thing about a little bag? You turn it inside out, it still says little. <laughs> I wasn't allowed girlfriends, were I? I wasn't allowed. My English friends were always allowed, like, they were even allowed sleepovers. Dad, can my girlfriend stay over tonight? You got a bird now, have you, son? Yeah, I've got a little girlfriend. Nice one, son. <laughs> That's what I like, my son. <laughs> yes, my son, geezer. Dad, can she stay over tonight? Of course she can stay over, mate. Don't even know. In fact, you can sleep in the room next to us. And do me a fiver, give her one from me. <laughs> and when you're finished, I might jump on it all. <laughs> Mum will come with a video camera. All have a laugh, mate. <laughs> Imagine you said that to your dad. No, he's a dead man, isn't it? <laughs> Dad, can my girlfriend bastard? <laughs> Your cousin can stay, no problem. <laughs> I don't like it when people blame things on racism. I saw this other program on BBC one about parking tickets. It goes, you gave me a ticket, bruv, isn't it? You gave me a ticket because I'm no white, bruv. Because I'm no white, I got a ticket. I'm like, mate, you parked in a bus lane. <laughs> it's because you're not red. People are complaining about this country, about the weather. We live in the best climate in the world. We don't suffer from hurricanes or tsunamis. Think about it, America had Hurricane Katrina. Jamaica had Hurricane What the Ras. <laughs> and we had Hurricane Dave. <laughs> Knocking over bins like it was pissed. <laughs> in other countries, you can lose your home and all your personal possessions. What's the worst that can happen in London? I stepped in a puddle, Dave. <laughs> Obviously, my condolences to anyone who's lost a fence. <laughs> and white people love fences. <laughs> you know, in Bangladesh, right, your whole family can get wiped out in an earthquake, and they still don't get a day off the British factory. <laughs> my family are dead. Ah, oh, don't worry, you can bury them in your lunch break. <laughs> I'm joking, you don't have lunch break. <laughs> you can bury them in your toilet break. I'm joking, you don't have toilet break. <laughs> Throw it in the bin. <laughs> when I was in Africa, I went to South Africa, right? I don't like generalizations like white people do this, black people do this, but I was in Africa, South Africa, white people have got the most dangerous animals over there. Pet tigers, pet alligators. One white guy had a pet hippo. <laughs> in his garden, pet hippo. Even black people in Africa don't go near hippos. Have you seen a hippo? Yeah. What do you do? I run away. <laughs> I just run. <laughs> away. <laughs> and then they win a marathon. <laughs> it's called evolution, isn't it? You know, this guy, had Mary Alice, had a pet hippo in his garden. He goes, I got the pet hippos. I love my hippo. I like to ride the hippo. <laughs> I like to play with the hippo. <laughs> I take the hippo shopping. I take it to Nando's. <laughs> He's like a son to me. Know what happened? Hippo ate the bastard. <laughs> got offered a show on Channel 4, Embarrassing Bodies. You seen that? You don't get many Indian people on embarrassing bodies because they've got way too many health problems. 
couldn't even fit on one series. <laughs> I got diabetes, leukemia, <laughs> regular heart bypass, my neck, my whiplash, <laughs> and my cross him. <laughs> Everything. I'm sorry, sir, we've only got eight episodes in this series. And we can't fill them all with you. English people don't care, mate. They'll show anything on embarrassing, but I come, I come when I roll it back. Bollocks, what's all that about? <laughs> Am I supposed to have a fifth bollock on the back of my knee? <laughs> Get the other camera and shove it up my ass. <laughs> I want to show him the hemorrhoids. <laughs> That's terrible, sir. Have you spoken to your doctor about this? No, I'm too embarrassed, mate. 